The Securities and Exchange Board of India (SEBI) has just revealed some concerning numbers about retail traders, specifically those involved in futures and options market. Over the span of three years, from FY22 to FY24, an alarming 93% of these traders faced losses. To put it into perspective, the total losses amounted to a staggering rupees 1.8 trillion. That's nearly rupees 2 lakh per trader on average. You might ask, why are so many people losing money? Well, FNO trading is all about predicting the future prices of stocks without actually buying them right away. Think of futures like making a deal today to buy or sell a stock at a set price on a future date. If the stock price moves in your favor, you make a profit, but if it doesn't, you could lose money. And options give you the right to buy or sell a stock at a specific price, but you are not forced to do it. You only exercise it if that is profitable for you. So in simple terms, FNO trading is a way to bet on stock prices. It's riskier than regular stock trading. It requires in-depth knowledge and constant monitoring of the markets. Yet, despite facing consecutive losses, a surprising hoping for a turnaround. But the odds were not in their favor. This surge in trading activity has raised questions. Why are retail investors so eager to participate? And what is SEBI planning to do? In response to these growing losses, SEBI is looking at seven major measures to limit retail participation and curb speculation in this high-risk markets. But it's not just about the traders who lost money. A small group of foreign portfolio investors and algorithmic traders made huge profits of Rs 28,000 crore and Rs 33,000 crore respectively. Mostly thanks to advanced technologies that most retail investors don't have access to. So while the majority lost money, these sophisticated traders benefited the most. And there's more to this concern. Over 75% of these loss-making traders had declared an annual income of less than Rs 5 lakh. This indicates that people who might not have enough financial backing are risking their savings in these markets. The report also shows that more young people are joining the FNO space with traders under 30 years of age growing from 31% to 43% in just one year. These numbers point to the need for better investor education and more robust safeguards to protect retail traders from the high risks involved in this trading. So in the last few months, government and SEBI have been saying that the middle class should not invest in FNO and for the SEBI's new proposals are expected soon. So we will see and track every movement and how they are planning to address this growing concern right here on Republic Business.